mark with that back leg. But just, it just doesn't work now in today's, in today's game. You know, it's just, it's just still, if you're still passionate about sport and you still want to do it, then carry on. But, you know, for me, I like to see people, if they're legends, to finish when they're legends at the top of the game. Absolutely going out on a high gal pan. Well, she had some top class matches there. Great Britain's Rebecca McGowan. An excellent performance from the young Scott, Scott from Caledonian Taekwondo. I'm sure they'll be proud of the efforts of her. Gave it everything she had, but Gal Pan, we've seen her before, and Sarah. In red from China, As she goes up against Zheng Shuyin, the Olympic champion. And we've talked about form, we've talked about going up and down as the athletes make their way in here. The Olympic champion, that little Olympic hangover after that, yeah. beginning to come out of it now. It's very, it's very. Uh, you don't really see, you know, people winning a shiny Olympic gold medal and then keeping that that level. It's, it's difficult to do, and I don't think they should. I think they should go and enjoy themselves. You've just won something that everyone dreams about doing, you know. But how long do you let the hangover go? And I think maybe Shen has kind of let that go on for a little bit too long. But it's nice to see her back, you know, in the semi-finals. Yep, emerging from the fog of that success, trying to create new moments and memories. Gal Pan, we've been impressed with, very, very good at covering. Does all of the basics well. She does, she does, but Rebecca McGowan today did a really good account of herself. Unfortunately, you know, there was a few things that didn't quite score for her, you know, and it could have been a, could have been a different semi-final today. Absolutely, McGowan with that win against Melitza Mandic, the World and Olympic champion, but the winner of that bout, Gal Pan, she's on the left. And Sheng Shuyin, well, she is on the right. And of course, Chinese national team coach, Kai Wei of Korea. Kim Jin Young, in terms of the proceedings here, Gao Pan, she's in blue, Sheng Shuyin in red. And of course, when you are part of a Telp Taekwondo nation, you spar with each other every day, you train with each other every day. Safe to say they know each other well. Yeah, they will know themselves. They know each other very well. I think it'd be. So I think it's quite difficult to do that, and also if the friends as well to fight your friend. But I think nowadays, you know, with with, with this system, you know, with the top 32 in the world, you know, you are going to come up against your training partners, and you've got to be able to find a way to get over that friendship and really step it up. Yeah, as you say, formerly friends, but for the moment, or at least for the next six minutes, foes on the mat here, and it's the front leg of Sheng Shu Yin. She's the Olympic champion in red, trying with that front leg up to the face there. Good block from Gao Pan. Doing the basics well again. Gao Pan really emerged onto the scene in that Grand Slam, which is, of course, at the end of the season. The big cash prizes not far away now. Grand Prix final will follow this one in Fujairah, but Manchester laying on a perfect platform for Taekwondo here. And at the moment, Cheng Shu Yin Second gear from both, not really going yeah, for it. Yeah, say really similar. Sheng putting a little bit more pressure on. But Gao not, not taking that pressure, doesn't really seem too phased by it. <laughs> yeah, not too phased by the power of the fighter in red. Gao tries to change, look for a different option. Doesn't want to come out with that back leg too often. That front leg counter waiting, big boot there from Zheng Shu Yin. She's got plenty of power. Well, we saw Sun Yu Jing yesterday recruited from basketball. Zheng Shu Yin also, same physicality. It's a place that well, we've both trained at, the Olympic University over in Beijing and in Shanghai. They've got a real factory feel, they've got lots of top athletes. Lots of tall people. You know, walk around the street outside of the gym, and there's obviously, you know, quite a lot of small, smaller nation. And then you go into the gym, and it's just like a tower of Chinese athletes. So it's quite a contrast. Absolutely, the scouting network, tall and talented. And it's certainly been the talent so far. From Gao Pan, she creates a, a little gam John on the board. Ten to go in the first. Nothing to separate them. It'll be all to play for again in the second round. Both fighters retreating to their coach. They knew enough about each other and they now have time to rest and recover. Keep that energy going, Manchester. Now, 
We've seen two from Manchester from China. It's very difficult, I think, think to, to come out and do something different yeah, against someone that you train with every day. Because Gao, no doubt, has, has probably trained alongside Zheng and improved from that. It's not an easy way to fellow teammates fight against each other. You know, they know each other inside out. Uh, you can maybe just hear in the background there, Mahama Cho yesterday gave a good account in the heavyweights. I'm sure he'll be back better. Yeah, we've seen that actually. It's very hard to, to produce that. And also for the coaches, you have to coach both fighters. You can't be seen to be the favourite, you know? Yeah, in the gym, you've got to coach both players. You've got to be an all-rounder. So it is a difficult situation. So I think potentially you don't always get the best of what they can show because they are being a bit more cagey. They know each other. They know what they're going to do next. Well, speaking of next, if you're just joining us, Great Britain's Bianca Lockdown is into the final. Who's going to join them? As this begins to heat up a little bit here, Sheng Shu Yin, the taller of the two in red, has a couple of headshots she's gone for. And Gao Pan is not going to plan so far. Tries to get a couple of body kicks on. Better footwork from the fighter in blue. She's moving up from the smaller category. The Sheng trying to force her back take that high option the high is a little bit could be a little bit faster nice punch there with the left hand from Zeng yep, a zinger from Zheng doubles the scores on the board 2-1 here in the second round it's of course the last of the semi-finals top class finals where that awaits for all of us to enjoy Panapak Wong Patanak of Thailand Made fast work of it in her semi-final. Shim Ji Young likewise. So they will complete the women's under 49s. Kim Tae Hun, good work from him. He will go against Armin Hadapur of Iran. Both of these female fighters fighting to complete. Well, the final of the heavyweights, Walton waiting, as are both here. Could be a gamjung and punch game potentially, which is not always the most exciting, but a win's a win. So says the champion who's giving you the expert analysis here. We've seen entertainment for the crowd. It's a very knowledgeable taekwondo crowd, so they know what's happening here. Teammates trying to pretend to be rivals, but you can guarantee as we move towards the third round, Galpan's going to have to bring it, and she will. There's a Grand Prix final at stake. We may be friends, but not always as we move towards the end of this second round here. Open stance, but not open scoring. Galpan will retreat back to her coach. Looking for answers. Two points of a gap here in this penultimate semi-final. They definitely know Let's too much you. about Let's each other. You can see Zeng trying to force Gao back, waiting for it to come and take that There's high, but Gao just knows that headshot's coming. So not engaging, not coming in, covering high. So, it, you know, it's, it's going to be a really cagey last round as well, I think. Well, a cagey contest for China, who can unlock the door and get themselves into that big gold medal contest. The ranking points will motivate them as well. The $5,000 prize, all to fight for. Cheng Shuyin, world weary there, just trotting into the centre. Likewise, Gao Pan. Not too much energy expended. Gao Pan is on heart to come forward. Changes stance. Good back leg there from Zheng Shu Yin. Punch, not too much steam on it, but a good option. We talked about it in the last round. Punches and Gamjons, and that's how it's been at the start. Yeah, one of the only options that Zheng has got. That left hand punch. Good attempt at spin, but I think she didn't quite realise she'd done that then, and so it wasn't quite on target, so tried again. Yeah, beginning to go through the gears now, Sheng Shu Yin. Much better, giving almost Bianca something there that to worry about there. She can spin both sides. Well, of course, the sharp eyed amongst of you will know that Zheng Shuyin 
defeated Walton in the Rio Olympic Games. She would love to do the same here in Manchester, but she's still got her hands full. Galpant, we haven't seen any headshot attempts from the fighter in blue. Good fake back kick there, yeah. No, nice, yeah, it was really nice to see that. Don't come for me, I will back your cue. I was only asking. <laughs> I'm still saving the punch. <laughs> exactly. And saving up the headshot there, Zheng Shu Yin finds the face and finds the lead, and you get the feeling as she throws another back kick, and it's going to be more than enough against Gal Pan, who looks to have had enough in this one. I think Jen's really coming a little bit more alive now. Finding those gaps against the opponent that knows her so well. Yeah, as you say, they've shared the map very often in training. They're now sharing it here at the Manchester Grand Prix. But the greatest share of the points on the board. The Olympic champion in red showed signs there of coming out of second gear, but she's gone back into her defensive shell. And the only thing that matters to her now is the clock. Galpan, a little chip and charge towards the line. Headshot, no less, from Gaopan, hits the shoulder and hitting the high notes towards the end there. Zheng Shu Yin, she will go against Bianca Walton. Manchester, big matchup, big opportunity and also Get ready with the context we have our of that Olympic the Olympic Games. Soon. The numerous occasions, Manchester, Sarah, the will let the MC do the work here. Kel Walker bringing them out and then 